And so today, uh, this is my company's uh, training day. We have learned about some customer servicing techniques, uh, mainly about handling dissatisfied customers. So there are um, a, a wide range of lear things that I learned. First, a customer comes in different types. Some may come in just want to voice out what our company done wrong. They just want to raise a complaint for us to improve, and they just want the situation be solved, and then things are done for them. Uh, so our approach should be to provide the solution, the quickest and the most effective solution to them, and also acknowledge our mistakes. Uh, but there's another type of customers who may be seeking attention. Um, they may be murmuring and uh, complaining a lot. They want us to understand. So in handling them, we need to uh, show more empathy and understanding. Uh, but by understanding, it comes in a different level, not just saying that I I deeply understand your situation, your concern, but we have to um, describe the situation in a more concrete way, like, I understand this event caused you great loss in your time, and it may affect the credit to your business partner, things like that, um, make it clear. And then when the, the, the customer feel that or someone care about them, they may um, moderate, yeah, they may relieve and be less tense or aggressive and then just provide them the solution then. <laughs> so it's just to identify the types of customer to decide which approach to use. And um, another thing I learned is that um, at the last and also covered the the um the choice the choice of words and the choice of tone in communicating with a dissatisfied customer our tone when the customer is really uh impulsive and speaking really really fast when they are angry and um, obviously losing the temper we should already we should also speed up because we should show that we are concerned about the concern. We're trying to to uh, work up to the quickest way to solve the problem. So we need to, to show some kind of hurry. But then we try to, we can slow down and take up our usual place in solving the case because it can make the customer slow down and to calm down too. Uh, so I think it's really strategic. Another thing is the, the choice of the choice of words. Never never be an assertive. If there's some answer that you may not be able to, to get right away, you just said that you need to check or you need to refer to other departments or your manager and to reply to them later but never say that oh I'm not sure or it's unclear and maybe it works not be because this may be the switches to turn off the customer's timbre and uh, and third of this is that uh, there are three ways we can choose to confront the customer first to be aggressive, which is to uh, to say that you are right and stand really strong at your standpoint. Um, but when the customer is so aggressive as well, both of you would find it hard to hit out a solution that satisfies both of you, and uh, it may be. Uh, in a really tense, it it may have really uh, more tension between you and the customer. So is this gonna be a lose lose situation? The second approach is to be submissive. Uh, 
when the customer has so much to complain about, just give them what they need and to grant all the demands and or requests so that we can just solve it, solve the case instantly. But actually, it's gonna leave a lot of aftermath because the customer may come in again asking for more next time. So we are bound to sacrifice more. But at the loss of the company, it is putting the company in a lower position. Uh, so it is win lose situation. C uh, customer is happy, the company is at loss. Uh, but the third approach is to be assertive. Uh, the customer may found that we have done something wrong and uh, but we, we can acknowledge it. Yes, but in the same time we we declare and make it clear about our uh, codes of conduct, our principles and the rationale behind our practices so that um, we educate we, we tell the customers that it this this is our fault this time and we may make some com compensation to them um, but in the meantime we make it really clear that um, uh, we may be offering the compensation but this is one of uh, just for this case because this is our mistake but we promise that we are gonna maintain our service at high level next time and so that the customer may may know that um, they cannot uh, hold it against us and try to down degrade us whatever uh, so we are more at the same at the fair level the same level with the customer and um, so this is pretty much uh, what I've learned um, uh, also I've learned that when customer voice the needs or dissatisfied always provide them with a basket of alternative so there's always be one that may be convenient to them and may be a suitable for them um, so that's uh, what I've learned today and uh, thanks for watching